Welcome to part two of the tutorial of making RCT track CTs from No Limits. In this part it will be how to manipulate the model in SketchUp into track segments and how to work with it ready for export into Blender. Okay, so first things first, it's a bit cluttered because the support's in the way. So move them out of the way, look at what distance clears it. So I always use a nice number, so 200. That keeps it out of the way. So now you can see the track is as it is. So if you want to right click and explode the first main group, that shows you how many groups there are now in the whole model. Each group you see here is actually every node or blue dot in No Limits. So as you can see around this turn, there's an awful lot of them. But for the lift hill there's only one. If you use programs like Newton you will be faced with a lot of small groups. Newton tracks are not the best tracks to convert into CTs due to the fact that when you look down here all these little groups they they cause some issues but you can still get around it. So. What you want to do is look at the track and think logically how best to divide it up. So for example, this is one track section which is after the uh, after the station, it's like a little transport section. So what you want to do is select the two rails and the spine, right click and make group. You want to do that for every rail and every spine that you want to put in the group of each track section that you want to use in Rollercoast Tycoon. So for example station would be the first piece then that little transport section that's two and then this turn is part three. There is a lot of pieces to join together when it's done with Newton like this, which does make it quite difficult. Once you've selected all of them, or as many as you think you've selected all of them, right click and make group. As you can see, it turns blue, which highlights the ones that haven't been selected. In this case, I missed one, type, uh, one spine group. So you just select it and put it back in the group. You want to do this for every type of track section that you want. This process does take quite a while so I will fast forward the next section so rather than watching it all in, in real time. Now that the rails and spine have been joined, the same process has to be done for the ties. So it makes it a bit easier because you can drag over quite a large area of ties that all need grouping together. Same process. Again, I'll fast forward through this section so you don't have to watch it all. There are some that you don't need to join as much where they're in straight lines but all the others you just join back together
that is the end of part two. Well, as you saw while going around, there were some slight issues. For example, up the top, part of the rail was missing, and somewhere around, somewhere there was a, another part of the of the spine missing. Technically, part two would have included re going over those. Just go over the whole track. If if there are little issues like this, just draw them back, um, and then come back to part three, and I will show you what to do next. Welcome back. I've decided that instead of part three straight away, I'm going to have part two a. In part two a, we are going to look at errors on the track. Not all tracks will have these errors. Generally it's only ones with inversions that this can happen. It doesn't always happen, but when it does it's, it's rather annoying. Uh, as you can see from the shape of this roll, it sort of it doesn't sort of flow right. It sort of kinks at weird angles. This is due to in no limits, as you can see here, it goes zero, minus five, and then plus a hundred and ninety degree roll. That is a big issue when it comes to construction kit. It cannot deal with going from a minus to a positive number. It, it doesn't know what to do. So you have to go back into no limits and make sure that all the rolls are, are more flowing. So if that's 190, so and the previous one was minus 5, that means that that one could be rel, as in relative roll, 0, so that's now minus 5, but it was plus 10 before, wasn't it? Because it was 190. So if you plus or minus. This is where it starts to get confusing because you have to work out how it should roll. So if that's minus 5 and then that was The easiest way to do it is you can always do your changes and then undo them. So as you can see the track is pretty much exactly the same now. So there we go, that is now right. So you can do small amounts, so you go minus 5, plus 5, that's okay. But then it's that that won't work. Plus 255 is, is far too much. So what you need to do is go to 0. find out what role it was, which is 135, or you can go 5, relative role, 0, That wasn't quite right, so it's needs to go up more. Bring it line it up. I think that's about right. And then what's this roll? 60, so that's okay. So now you can save the track again, close no limits, minimize SketchUp, go back into the construction kit, find the track, 
look at the role that you've just edited and see if it looks smooth as fat now does. It doesn't have that weird kink in it anymore. See, it's a nice smooth curve over. So that's all right. So it's the same principle that you have to re-edit all of these settings. Save the model again. Obviously, it's only track that's edited, so all you need to do is save the track and go back into SketchUp, import the new track. Place it somewhere near where it needs to be and choose a point on the new track that you can place on the other track. Line them up. As you see, the roll is completely different to the old one. Go into the new track and delete all that you don't want, which obviously is quite a lot, because if it's only one element that's changed, all you need to save is that one element. Delete all the old element. Explode the new track and just join them back up to how they were. Also, I, I made a slight mistake there, if anyone caught it, well done. I didn't change the spine's curvature from 0.5 to 1. As you can see, that's what happens. You end up with twice the amount of poly on the spine, which when you think about it, there is a lot of track. So on a big coaster, they do add up. It doesn't overly matter I mean you can do you can basically you can just do the same process which I'll do without showing and then just put it back that was the only bad curve on the track all the others are fine so that that concludes part 2a and I will see you in part 3